All right, let's go. Uh, checkers. Man, it has been a while since I've done a review from Checkers, I believe. I'll have to check the archives and I'll throw up a thumbnail and maybe a date. I can't remember. But Checkers, usually there's not many Checkers around me. And I guess if you're in the um, West Coast or one or two in the East Coast, I don't know. You go by rallies. Another overcast day. Takes a minute to focus. But I'm over here at Checkers and in this bag, thanks to Burger Beast, the one and only Burger Beast, he's like, hey, have you tried these Buford Bites? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, it's basically a cheeseburger filled ravioli. I went, okay, say no more. So I'm checking out the Buford Bites over at Checkers. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. I can't believe the sun's coming out because I am filming three videos today. This is the third. So you're probably gonna see three straight videos of me wearing the same thing. I didn't do any wardrobe uh, changes, but uh, big uh, bad weather coming in. So wanted to get some filming done it's what you got to do. It's what you got to do for the people. So I hope you appreciate it. I'm out here grinding. Uh, so here we go. Four of these bad boys. Check them out right there. Buford Bites for $2.99. And then for $0.69, six, 69 cents, I ended up uh, getting a side of cheese sauce right there. So shake this up. It's hot. This is a warm cheese sauce. I don't know, how long has that been sitting there? Okay, so let's put that off to the side and get one of these out and take a look at a Buford Bite. So their um, signature burger is called the Buford. It's come in many different uh, varieties over the years. So they decided to put all of the ingredients of the Buford Bites into, no, all the ingredients of the Buford Burger into a bite. So this is a fried, cheeseburger ravioli I guess and you get four of them like I said in this little uh, container for two dollars and ninety nine cents so here we go wish me luck he Burger Beast kind of tipped his hand on what he thought of these but I said stop collaborate and listen endorsements back with his brand new invention something grabs a hold of him okay all right name that song all right wish me luck these are piping hot Buford Bites over at uh, Checkers. Let's go. Take a look. Mm. There we go. Take a look. Whoa. That consistency is throwing me off. If that is hamburger meat, it has the consistency of refried beans. I'm tasting a little bit of like pickle and like a little bit of like mustard or ketchup and some cheese but the most I am getting from the first two little nibbles right there is that texture and that weird flavor of that um burger meat that's inside there let's finish this one off mm. kind of hard on the outside you know you ever meet someone hard on the outside soft on the inside Heart of gold, you might call that person. Mm. One more look. I don't know. I spent the 69 cents for the uh, cheese, so I might as well give it a try with the cheese as the sun, holy cow. Wasn't supposed to see any sun today. So look at this. 
That's going to take a while to focus. Or never. Perfect lighting. Oh, there we go. All right, so here we go. We'll dip into the uh, molten cheese right there. As the sun is just beaming. Okay. I could have driven down the road and thrown, thrown 69 cents out the window because that's not the best tasting cheese I've ever tasted. Yikes. Um, okay, so that just threw up the whole... Oh, I don't like that cheese. Clean the palate. A little IHOP. That was one of the reviews I did. You might have seen that already. You might not have. Um, all right, so I'm going to finish this last bite. These are not the greatest. The texture's throwing me off. There's not a lot of flavor. This time around, maybe it was because of that cheese. I didn't really get anything else. I didn't get pickle. I didn't get um, much of anything except that texture, that paste-like uh, texture. And I get it. If you're making something like this, maybe you can't have the nice ground-up uh, hamburger, but... I mean, I've had meat ravioli where even like Franco-American, like in the can, I think, I think the meat is even um, less chopped up and uh, liquefied than that. But uh, let's finish it off. Final bite. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna give these a rating. I don't know if you can tell in my demeanor I'm just kind of kind of deflated. And it's not because I've uh, filmed three reviews today. I get all amped up for each new review and I want to like the food. That's why I always say, wish me luck. People sometimes say, why are you saying, why are we wishing you luck? You're wishing me luck because I'm trying something for the first time and I hope I like it. To me, it's so self-explanatory, but a lot of times I get that. I haven't gotten it in a while, I will say that. But uh, a lot of times uh, over the years, why are we wishing you luck? Because... Wish me luck that I enjoy uh, what I just paid for. But this one kind of misses the mark on a bunch of levels. And this other one, I, I'm not even going to pull it out. One of them looked uh, severely overcooked. And I don't know how that could be if they all were cooked at the same time. I digress. 1 to 100. Those are a 35. That's a solid 35. I'm actually being generous. Probably in that 15 to 20 range. But anything less than a 40... Or even a 50, you know, you're probably not going out to get based on my opinion. But if you want to try it, hey, there you go. Because Burger Beast, like I said, he kind of tipped his hand. He wasn't a fan either. But I went into this with an open mind and no, no, no. No, no, no. So um, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. Thank you so much. Um, that's it. I hope you appreciated this video. Light up the comments if you've tried the Buford Bites. Light up the comments about checkers or rallies. And um, I don't know, just in general, light up the comments. I love hearing from you. I read them all. Even though I'm out filming and editing and doing the next day, I don't get a chance to respond to a lot of them. But I like to uh, heart as many as I can. And I do read like 90% of the comments on each video. So thank you so much. And we'll see you soon with some more. Read views.